Hello everybody, welcome back for some more Bloodborne. And David's starting again. If you guys already forgot the order of what we're doing. <laughs> Pretty much. I think I got the commentary working, don't I? Yeah, the, the commentary is good. Done. Okay, it should be good. Yeah, we'll, we'll be fine. Yeah, we're gonna... We start... Uh, we did start a video already, but... It kind of fucked up for a few seconds, so... Yeah, I got a retard in this. We're good now. Pretty much what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be going back and taking out the Cleric Beast. Hopefully. And if you if you don't feel like taking on the cleric beast, you can just run back to the Cathedral Ward and give me some stuff there. Or we can grind up. Oh, yeah. If you don't find the cleric beast, I'll try it. So. Thing about grinding in this game is your stats don't matter. No, I'm serious. You can like level up your health to like max, and you probably still get your ass wrecked. Pretty damn hard. Stats don't matter. It's just a matter of your skill. That's all it is. Learning the bosses and just going from there. Yeah, all that's really good is to allow you to survive a little bit longer. Mm, no, not necessarily. Go back. Okay. I figured I was going the wrong way. Yeah, you don't want to take the sewers because it's kind of a long way away. And there's a lot of big guys down there. Yes. It just. It would take too long just to have to go back up and fuck with all yeah. that. Yeah. Finding that big crowd that I always died at would probably be easier than going to the sewers. Well. Yeah, there is that guy. I'm trying to remember what shortcut we can take. Your best bet is probably just to go through the crowd. No, that that was not it. Or you could just like think that you could go through the go lamp post. If you just go into a certain place, it's closer. Well, once you kill the cleric beast, you get a lamp. So oh yeah, you only get this one lamp, and it'd just be easier just to go this way. The other lamp is is at guest coins, which is way across the other way. Actually, you're... Yeah, shit, you're right there pretty much. Oh, I'm correct. Well, yeah, I think that is a cleric beast. Like, yeah, you just... Like, you picking up some. Is it over here? Yeah. Yeah, that's a cleric beast. I mean, you have enough health, but you can just... You've got plenty of bottles, too, so you can just go ahead and heal up and just go through here. You did great, actually. That's a really high chance of doing this. You sure you're ready for this? Can I just run past these guys to that door? Yeah. They won't follow you inside. Make sure when you get there, just start mashing X. Oh. Okay. And there's a and here comes a clever. Just lock onto him and just get behind him. Just uh watch his attacks and then just, yeah. Every time he jumps, he unlocks. I don't oh. think you're locked on. Well that's the thing, like every time he jumps he will unlock. Watch your stamina too. He'll be like Dalton like he was yesterday and just like think he has unlimited stamina for some reason. Well, what oh, So he's like all, every other game having unlimited stamina? Back up, watch your health, and just just take this fight slow. I mean, he might seem threatening and quick, but he's not. He's really pathetic. He's basically just a tutorial boss. That's all he's here for. Again, watch your stamina. Always make sure you have a slither bit of green, green bar. That way, if you ever need to evade, you can. Just get behind him. It's like freaking, uh... Oh, we're getting right in the back attack and then like, oh, I want to hit the Right under the wall. Oh, uh, yeah, he has, like, those grab attacks. Yes. I forgot that he can do that. Oh, he, one thing for sure, he already lasted longer than I did. That's right, true. Yeah, he didn't have this, and I did. Well, yeah, so. that's... Yeah, yeah. attack is that? Uh, yes, but you can't interrupt him. You can't parry him. But what you can do is you can keep shooting until he starts, um, losing quite a bit of health and... He'll eventually get down on his knees and you can just run up to his head and hit him. Just start shooting him. Just to get some damage on him. Just as much as you can. It's not going to be like a guarantee, this roll, but it'll help. It just every little bit helps. I don't remember what that red mist thing does, though. Yeah. He's playing is pretty smart, though. Although he does have to kill a lot. No, I'm... No. Tell about the Cleric Beast? Uh, no, I thought it would do it. I was just trying to remember what the Cleric Beast red thing did. I don't remember if it boosts attack or just healed him a little bit. I always thought it just did nothing. I was just there, just to... Like, 
make it look more threatening than your actual is. Yeah. Pretty much. Just remember, he's just really, really slow, so... Compared to the other bosses we have to take down, he's gonna be one of the slower ones. Gascoigne was fast as fuck. So, I took yeah, him out. Fast. You can shoot him just to pick him off. You feel like you can't get in. Oh, yeah, he's dead. Oh, get him. See? That's so hard. It was, it was too hard. Now we have this Sword Hunter badge, which I believe is the badge that can get us Ludwig's Holy Blade, I think. Or maybe it's either that one or the Kirk Hammer, but there's a corp right there. Go ahead and pick up the item. Silver bullets. And then you can head back. Oh. Yes, there is a door back there, but all it says is closed. As as far as we know, there's no way to get that door open. Hidden DLC confirmed. Well, that's the thing. Like nobody still knows. Huh. Plan DLC canceled. Then they're like, ah, uh, oh, maybe we'll find out. The cool like we did. Uh, wait. Yeah, that's only one. So each of these tombs are different areas. Do what? Each of those tombs are different areas. Yes. Okay. There, uh, each tombstone is like a different. You can see like each one like deteriorating in different ways. It's um kind of my own little interesting way of saying uh, what kind of type they are. Like there's nightmare levels, and then there's your regular these levels, just like your basic you know town running around and things. And it doesn't look all deteriorated. And then you have like the really fucked up one with like blood going through it. And, yeah, that's the really. I think I think those are the nightmare ones, or is that the unseen ones? That, like there's unseen villages, and then there's yeah, all that stuff. Did you say not go to a certain direction? Well, actually, you well now with the cleric beast dead, we can either go that way or we can take the left way. Either way it doesn't really matter. The only direction we cannot go to is the hunter's nightmare. Oh yeah, maybe stretching it off. Which is just DLC, so. I guess I had a on the well, there goes one plan for the weekend. <laughs> oh well. That happens. Life. It was getting good. Yeah, that's... Well, he did take down a boss, so he probably feels pretty good about that. <laughs> I feel great. I like I'm feeling like a gamer again. <laughs> Not a no-talk. Yeah, he's, um, he's got a uh, 20 foot blood vial again. Actually, oh yeah, go ahead and go down this way. I want to. I don't remember. This this isn't. This doesn't lead us to. Does it? Does this lead us to? Oh man. Fuck. I think it might. I think. It's, shit. I don't even remember. <laughs> I know one of these oh, ways yeah. lead us to old yarn, and I think that's gonna be the way to go there. Fucking Joe, you fucking oompa loompa bitch. It was funny. In my mind, I'm like, hey, technically I haven't died yet, so I can go back to your where you died last time and get your uh. Your echoes. Oh, that's probably. It. And then I died. I jinxed myself. I think we already had the echoes by then. Yeah, I probably did. No, because when we thought we had zero. Oh. I think we did at least. I don't know. I yeah, we see. had zero. We had zero and seven inside. Okay, hopefully I don't die so I can get these things back. You can just run past. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Maybe yeah. you do it. Oops. Or just uh, back. Yeah, pull me and like use a blood vial slash. <laughs> Last thing in Dark Souls 3 that you, that you have limited usage of. Just... Well, yeah, who ha oh, I mean, like you can get him back, so. I ain't going to get him. Yeah, with Estus Flask, you get him back when you die or you you go to a bonfire. Oh. This, you have to buy vials. And it's kind of the same thing with uh, Dark Souls 2 right now, is I, have, I guess I have to buy life to him, but I don't know. It seems like David dies more on like the regular enemies, enemies than actual bosses. That's your typical Souls. The bosses are. To sometimes pathetically easy. Like, look at Demon Souls, for example. God forbid, if anybody dies on the first boss in that game, it's like, you should just stop playing games to begin with. You say Dark Souls 3? Well, no, Demon Souls. Ah. Huh. Because there's the boss itself, and then there's the enemies around it. You can die to the enemies, but the boss doesn't hit you at all. You kill off all the enemies around it, and then you just hit the boss until it's dead. That's literally all you do. <laughs> the funny thing, you, you could, if you wanted to, you could, you could just like you could die avoid like all the enemies and just keep hitting the boss and just racking the damage on them. Yeah. Well, I mean, some of the enemies are actually stuck to it, so you have to kill off some of the enemies. Uh, on it. 
They're all piled up on top of it, and you just throw some fireballs at it and kill it, and GG. Granted, I didn't know you could do that until I saw a message on the ground that you could do firebombs. I'm like, okay. All the way to do. For some reason, this area reminds me of uh, that thing in Resident Evil we did. Oh, like, yeah, that one cemetery, I believe? Like, I don't want to do that puzzle. Mm. Oh, yeah, that, that, that last place. I don't really want to be reminded place. of fucking that shit. If anything, if the dog gets way too annoying, just shoot him. It's technically an interrupt. Because dogs have this. Dogs and birds both have this really annoying stun lock thing they can do to you. And it fucking sucks. Mm. Yeah, I, I've seen the uh, birds stun lock a bit. A bit. Yeah. They, they're not fun. Didn't birds just drop pebbles? Yeah, I'm pretty much. There's an interesting note about that that I saw recently. Uh, when, whenever you look at pebbles. Well, actually, there is a bird in the game somewhere that does not attack you at all. And that. It's, it's stuck into a group of other birds that will attack you. And so basically when you find out that it doesn't attack you, you feel kind of bad because you're like, wow, I just killed an innocent bird for no reason. It's it's the, the, little, the little things about Bloodborne that make it interesting. But um, if you look at a pebble, like when you examine it, you know, with the look at the notes and what have you, it looks like an eyeball pretty much. And birds are known to like, you know, peck at eyeballs and stuff. So, well, I know crows are not really all birds. Well, these kinds of birds look like crows, so it's an interesting concept, nonetheless. Yeah. When developers put research into the games, it makes it ten times better. Well, when the developer actually puts time and effort into the games, it yeah. makes it ten times better. From software, tends which I'm pre-ordering on Twitter for. Fuck all you. <laughs> From well, software, tends to make uh, take a lot of effort in their games, so I respect them for that. For the Souls games I've played, yes. Other games I've not seen yet. To get that thing open, you have to go upstairs. Wait, there's a staircase? Yes, outside. Oh. To the right. I don't want to see it. There's still an enemy out there, though, so I might, you might as well just kill him. Either kill him, pass him, whatever. No one there. I'll just pass him. Either way, more than likely, I'll probably end up leveling us up. For the most part. Yeah. The one thing that you should do when you level up is just get your um, arcane and your strength leveled up. For, you know, some specific weapons require a certain stat. Oh, yeah, we can't watch him call it. Yeah. And he's dead. The guy can't do that. The guys that he guys can have really long limbs. Yeah, which is weird. I don't know why they do. They it looks like they have like straw or something inside of them. Actually, yeah, they, they could be like walking scarecrows or something. I don't know. Well, I I have no idea. They're There's beasts. Something. They're beasts nonetheless. Well, they're beasts now. I don't remember what those guys were called. I can always just look at the. I need. Yeah. I probably yeah, should just, do that. I'll just call them the Dandy Man. Let's start. Wait, why not? That's a name. I need to start looking at these fucking names. Because if I like the game so much, I might as well just look at the names of them, right? Mm-hmm. All right. I don't remember what those things were. Masks were called that had like the beef. They put like herbs inside of it during plagues. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I don't know the name either. Is that what they remind you of? Uh, well, kind of. Yeah, you're gonna get like just keep rolling away and. Again, dogs are a bunch of, well, dare I say, bitches. <laughs> no, uh, I don't get them out. Yeah, you try to like keep keep a good eye on your health, make sure you heal whenever you need it. All right, let's see here. God damn it! Not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a fucking. No, uh, no, no, no. Come on. The fucking planes. Oh. I don't think that's gonna be able to pick up. Did you hear about the thing that, like, around the square that fell? Yeah. Uh, something fell around the square? Yeah, some building fell down. Those guys with the lanterns are called church servants. That's what they were called. Uh, okay. I knew it was church something, I just didn't know what the fuck it was. I'm trying to look at the basic enemies. They're probably just village people, if anything. Um, villagers. That's probably what it is, I mean. Corrupted villagers. Silver lady? Oh, that's what they call them. Okay. Oh, well, 
We'll play the silver ladies later. Are uh, they annoying? Yes. Uh, we have hunting dogs. No, th that's the wrong one. Never mind. That's a whole different dog. There's two types of different dogs. There's these fucking things, and then there's hunter dogs, which have like these spikes coming out of them. They're, they're just like basic dogs, but they, I think they have more health. We have huntsmen. I believe that all the, even the gun, yeah, even the gun guys count as just huntsmen. That's all they're called. Oh, okay. I think I think we have just basic dogs. The big giant golem guys are called brick trolls. And then, no, that's a bonus. No. I know what, yeah, I know what snatchers are. Mm. Oh. Also, nice? another funny thing is recently, we just now, like, fairly recently, we just found... The, this thing called the Labyrinth Mole, which is a uh, an enemy inside of a Chalice Dungeon that it's taken quite a long time to find, and you have to go to, like, one specific person's dungeon to go find it, too. Huh. That's how random it is. It was so random, it wasn't even put in the strategy guide as an enemy. Nobody knew what the fuck it was. <laughs> That's crazy. That's funny. Even when a game can be out for years... They still still gets this, like I think a new tech in melee was discovered just last year. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, right. Huh. It's been out for ten years. Oh my god, that's fucking weird. Did you get everything taken care of? Uh, care I opened up the thing. Okay. Did you get all the items up there too? Oh, I knew. I did search one body. That should be it. Yeah, that that thing. should be it. One body is it, I believe. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, I didn't really see many items up there, but yeah, you did after it. So you should get on that. I'm trying to remember where the fuck Arthur was at. Ah, uh, we don't need to worry about him right now. Because I don't want anybody accidentally killing him. Well, unless you guys want to. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. You got, you got to do an yep, I keep an eye on both. Just. Uh, I'm used to it because, like, I play Call of Duty and Battlefield and games like that a lot where I have to keep constantly looking at my minimap. You see the new trailer? Uh, of Call of Duty? Yeah. Yes. And did you see um, Dice ripping a new one on Twitter? Hmm. Yeah. Did you see Wait, his Dice? You know, the guys who make Battlefield. Oh. They ripped it a new one. They were like, wow, look at that like 2010 editing graphics. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> when there was a spaceship and like the space transformed, like, oh, that was badass. Dude, it's Didn't you see terrible. like the, the like to dislike ratio of it? Then? Yes, it's so bad. But they knew something was up. They were like, you know what? We'll just release Modern Warfare Remastered with it, too. Wait, actually remastered? Yeah. yeah. They remastered one of my favorite Call of Duty. Next was it 2 or 1? 1. Oh. But only with 10 maps. So, yeah. I would start warning you about monsters in this game, but nah. That's no fun, right? Might as well let you figure it out. Yeah. I guess it's part of the fun. Remember, your dodging is going to be your blocking. So, <laughs> that's, yeah. Let's go ahead and heal up. There will be a lamp coming up pretty soon. That should be the last enemy for right now. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, Blackstone showed up. I thought that was an enemy of my Oh, shit. No. What was it? It's just a ghost. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. I just call them ghosts. Uh, this part. Oof. It's. Oh, there's a lot of here. Yeah, but there's an item up there. Oh, where? I like go back up. Yeah, go back up. Go back up, up the like... stairs. And then you want to drop down there. There should be a way to drop down there. Wait, maybe there's not. Okay. Oh, I see. Never mind. I believe I know how to get this one. I think it was just like something else we had to climb up. I thought it was a drop down. Just, yeah, go ahead. And... I thought circle was a drop. Like that, You know, I wouldn't blame you because when I've been playing God of War recently, and I keep thinking X is to drop down, but X is to like move on the rope quicker. Mm-hmm. And then, like, I, R1's to drop, but I'm so used to R1 and Dante's Inferno, I get them mixed up from time to time. And that has rendered me dead a few times. Oh, uh, yeah. I fucking hate it. Well, yeah, I kind of, I kind of forgot oh, about yeah. Dante's Inferno. Yeah, most people did too, but... This is the lamp to Old Yardum. There's going to be a couple hunters here. And there's one hunter that we can cheese the shit out of. And we will cheese the shit out of him because I don't fucking feel like finding him. Because he's got some high ass defense. So what should so, I buy? Well, yeah. go to the go to the thing real quick and um, check on what the badge gave us. Yeah, how uh, far in was that one uh, hunter you got stuck oh, on? Way. Oh, you mean the one that Nick had to go take out? Yeah. 
No. Uh, well, actually, he's in the same area we're about to go to. Oh, okay. I want to try. I want to try phase man, even though I know I'll probably die. All right. Well, I do know a cheese for him though. Did he give us this? Yep. That was a lot of damage. We have the Kirk hammer, and do we have? Okay, go to our um, inventory real quick. If anything, I I Wait, can we go and probably the part of the blunderbuss. Crack into go to cell. We well, can go to the cell, yeah, but you can go to the cell to look at what we have. Well, we don't have the threaded cane, and yeah, like Dalton said, we can get the blunderbuss. I think the blunderbuss stuff. I, I, think yeah, the blunder I don't know what to do. With I think it. the blunderbuss would be more useful for us. For you guys, maybe. I mean, I know that. Well, we have the repeating pistol also that comes with the so uh so sword hunter badge. Fuck. What does that do? The repeating pistol. It shoots out two shots at once. Kind of figured it did something with repeating. But it's not automatic. Yeah, I'd say the blunderbuss would be nice. I'd say the blunderbuss, because Dalton, wa Dalton really wants a blunderbuss. <laughs> well, those are the guns that pirates use. It looks like I don't them. know. Maybe. It sounds like it would be. Do you guys want to get the Kirk? Well, if we get the Kirk hammer, we don't have enough strength, though, oh. to use it. See on the bottom left, right there with that arm? I'd say just use the rest of the soul. 16. Oh, uh, echoes to um, run. Oh, we need... Yeah, let's it, do that. Let's do the that. rest of the echoes. The heart is strength? Up. No. Oh. What don't? I'd say I'd say like you're doing you're doing what I was saying. I use use the rest of just level up. Level strength twice. We do, we still don't have enough. We need sixteen. So we get that. How much was that threaded cane again? A thousand? E no. No three thousand. Twelve hundred. Oh. Alright. Actually, what we could do. I think get some of those. Yeah. But that would be plenty. That should be plenty. No, buy it, damn it. Hey, Probably remember if there's cane. a way I can tell if it's in my inventory or not. No. Wait, we're getting the cane? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was getting the hammer. Well, we don't have enough strength. Oh. To use it. <laughs> we now have the threaded cane and the hunter's axe. So, if you want to, you can play the threaded cane for a little bit and see if you like it. On its first form, it's just a basic sword, but in its second form, it's basically just like a, a, a chain whip thing. Yeah. That's cool. It is a pretty badass cane, and I've seen people use it as their first weapon, too, because, well, you get it as your first weapon. It's either that, Hunter Axe, or, you know, the Brick Cleaver. Saw cleaver yeah. Now, if you want to look at the tombstones to look at what they look like, you can. See, because here we have, I think... Um, well, you can't go to them yet. I'm just I like, look at the detail on them. I think that one's the unseen tombstones. Mm. That one right there, I think that's like the stuff to do with the church. Yeah, I mean, it has like a kind of like soul yeah, screaming on it, kind of. It's more. This one's got like more of like a newest feel. Yeah, like a church esque. Can you see the face in or, there? Or a school thing. Can you see the face? Yeah, I, I see something. I see a couple faces. I see, all, all I see is a skull. Yeah, I see like another like soul screaming, but like with a much bigger mouth open. And then if you keep going up, we well, well there's this one that basically just like run in the mill. Oh, there's some down here. No, there's nothing down here right now. Oh, that was our the place where we can learn how to do our moves. These are chalice dungeon stuff, which we probably will not do. I mean, if if we're gonna do them, I might just do them off screen, but. There, there's only one weapon we can get out of the Chalice Dungeon. Isn't that that, like, will? Well, that's a Beast Claw. Oh. I don't like it, so... <laughs> we can do it! Or, well, no. Fuck it. If anything, we can always just go to my account and show it off that way. If if we're gonna do a Let's Play like that. But it really depends on what we're gonna do. Yeah. I think I'm up to 24. I can just end it here. That's up to you. I think I'll end yeah, it we're in a good place to end it, so... I fought a boss, I went to a lamp. Yeah, you got progress done. I think you did more than that. Yeah, he, he I just beat the cleric beast. And he then beat the cleric beast, uh, okay. and then yeah, you he got, got two lamps. lamps. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Well, that's technically two lamps. I'm, I'm thinking like he had two lamps. I'm thinking cleric beast didn't have one. So far, the only thing I've done this entire playthrough was get the hunter's guard. That's it. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> I've done nothing else. Well, there's a sub boss that you can fight, or a mini boss guy you can take down. I'll go you try him. Yeah. Want to go try him down? All right, so in the next episode, Dalton's going to get mowed down by a minigun. <laughs> oh, God. And as always, folks, take care, everybody.